Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Friday, February 16th, 2018. Um, it is a little cloudy today. We had some rain earlier and uh, as you can see, I'm going to pan around here. A lot of the snow is gone now. We still have a little bit left around. and uh, But uh, a lot of the snow is gone, so that's a good thing. Uh, solar did not do real good today uh, just because it was so overcast and rainy. When it's rainy, we don't do really well when uh, with the solar. It's definitely colder today than yesterday. It's about 20 degrees colder. I think we did hit 60 yesterday. So today's high, I think, is 40. So that's just, you know. But like I said, it's still February, so we'll take any of those kind of days that we can get. All right, so let's get into the topic. Um, will you eat your pet after SHTF? And uh, so this is obviously a very, very touchy subject. Um, I have five cats, so um, and our cats are like our kids. And I just, I could never personally see myself eating my pets. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I prep, and I absolutely prep for them as well. Uh, I have a lot of cat food put away, and so I'm hoping that I would never have to do that. Uh, that would be a tough, tough call. But I mean, for somebody that does, that has not prepped, and is not ready, um, would they eat their pet? Uh, I think if starvation was facing them and they had a meat source there that they could have, I think a lot of people will. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully I'm never faced with that decision because, like I said, my cats are like my kids. So um, I love my my pets, and I, I would have a real hard time doing it myself, to be honest with you. Uh, but like I said, faced with starvation, nobody can say what they would do or what they wouldn't do realistically uh, until they were faced with that situation. Uh, like I said, that's one of the reasons why I prep, so that I wouldn't have to have that as an option um, to do. So hopefully I'll never be faced with that situation. Um, I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say on this topic because, you know, it's a it's a rough rough topic. I mean, it's a hard topic to think. I mean, here's here's Mr. Buddy out here, you know, chilling out, and uh, I just I don't look at him and say, geez, I think he'd be tasty. You know, I just there's just no way. Uh, you know, he, he's been a very loyal companion, and he's a good cat, and good mouser so I just I think that there would be a lot of other options for us hopefully than having to eat our cats so uh, you know with trapping and hunting if we had to and and those type of things I think <clears throat> those are gonna be better options now would I be worried about the neighbors not having food and trying to eat one of my cats now there's another thing you gotta think about okay uh, if you have a pet and you aren't able to do it, you know that. And uh, what if one of your neighbors steals your pet because they're starving and they eat your dog or your cat? I mean, that's uh, that's a that's a real possibility. I mean, that is definitely a possibility to think about. Um, I definitely want your guys' feedback. This is going to be a real touchy, touchy subject because you know, for a lot of us out here, um, our our pets are like family, and um, you know, I can't. Like I said, I can't fathom thinking of something that I love and that I care about and that has been a great companion and a great comfort uh, to look at them as food. So, uh, you know, obviously that's something that has to be, you know, thought about and, and dealt with in that, in that aspect. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of where that's at. And uh, we're going to go from there. But uh, so I definitely want your feedback on this topic. And uh, we'll see what uh, you all have to say because I think it's definitely a topic that uh, is worth talking about. Um, I think that a lot of people, you know, if maybe if you can't eat your own pet, you would definitely think about eating somebody else's pet. And, and again, a lot of it realistically, I mean, let's be realistic. It would depend on the situation. If there was some kind of pandemic uh, with a flu virus that killed off a bunch of people, there's going to be a lot of pets out there running wild anyway, okay? Uh, there will be a lot of them, if they can get out of the house even. I mean, some of the pets will end up dying in the house with their owners because they couldn't get out. So that's something to think about too, you know? So, but... Uh, <clears throat> You know, if it was something like that type of a situation, you know, that would be, 
you know, you, you might not eat your own pet, but you would eat somebody else's. You know, hold on one second. Let me be the doorman that I am. All right. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show you today with it. Like I said, we had rain, quite a bit of rain today. And uh, the weather has not been... Uh, Okay, so we brought in 0.3 off of this one here and 0.5 off of this one here. So only 0.8 altogether today. And so that's uh, not really a great day solar-wise. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, that happens. Uh, you're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days. I mean, that's just kind of part of... Part of you know relying on the on the sun to uh, help get your power, so it's. Uh... But like I said, if you look back from just even a couple days ago, videos wise, we got a lot less snow up here. Uh, the wood is holding up well. We still got quite a bit here, and uh, we'll see what uh, you know we end up having and uh, end up end up using, but. Uh, it's uh we got we're gonna have definitely gonna have wood left over which is gonna be a good thing and uh, we're gonna kind of like I said we're just gonna go from there and just and see what happens um, I have some things coming up that I'm gonna be doing and uh, with the channel and uh, some uh, game plans and uh, doing some stuff uh, I've had a lot of people say that I should make t-shirts and sell t-shirts and uh, do some like uh, koozies and stuff like that and some coffee mugs um, I might do that uh, just you know more for fun for the novelty of it and uh, you know not trying to make a big huge profit from you guys and uh, I you know I I've been told I need to set up a website and so I might do that as well and so we'll see what happens with it I definitely want your guys feedback on that what you guys think should I set up a website and uh, would you buy t-shirts if I did t-shirts? I mean, if I did, uh, you know, STD uh, t-shirts or, you know, if I did hug and kiss the ones you love, you know, do a t-shirt like that too. And then we'll have, you know, we'll just have some fun with it. And uh, like maybe I put down there, uh, you know, Prepper Nurse One gave me an STD. So, or something, something silly. You know what I mean? It, I think that would be fun. But, uh, you know, I definitely want feedback on that as well and what your thoughts are. Uh, do you think I should do something like that? And because uh, it's a lot of work, and if, if I'm going to do that, you know, I definitely, you know, want to do it and uh, make it worth your guys' while, and uh, you know, myself as well. We have to come up with some kind of a logo that we were going to use, and and those type of things. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, you know, I, uh, you know, that's uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I'm definitely thinking about doing that though. So. But uh, it will be interesting. So anyway, um, I hope everybody has a good weekend. And I hope you, you know, enjoy the time that you have with your family and your friends. You know, life is so short and life is so precious. And so many people take it for granted. And uh, they don't appreciate what we have. And that's sad. Because it's, uh, life is so worth living. You know, and, and here's the thing, is, and I've said this before as well. If you don't have your health, guys, you don't have anything. You really don't. Um, once you get older and you start u losing abilities to do different things like you did before or because of sickness or illness or, you know, um, disease or whatnot, it definitely gives you a, a different mindset on everything. And I know for myself personally, uh, after having cancer and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's been two and a half years since I had my surgery and, uh, you know, um, it gives you a different outlook. It really, really does. Uh, cancer is no joke, and uh, there's a lot of other diseases out there as well that are also no joke. And uh, you know, a lot of people live with uh, you know MS and uh, you know all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's so many different things going on out there, and uh, you know, and living with that day to day and living with pain and discomfort, and it, it's not an easy thing. But you know, um, life is so worth living, and uh, it can be very, very enjoyable. So. Um, you know, I want you guys to think about that, okay? So anyway, listen, um, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Um, like I said, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. 
tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. We really don't. And um, so it's important to tell the people that you care about how you feel. And remember, you know, STD. It's one step at a time, it's one thing at a time, and it's one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. And the only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. Uh, nobody else can do that. And uh, that's that's important to remember, okay? And that being said, guys, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.